Praying this Thursday, Russia has launched the biggest barrage of missile strikes in weeks. The country's top general saying Ukraine shot down 54 of 69 missiles launched by Russia. In Kyiv, Mayor Vitaly Klitschko says they've wounded at least three people. While our correspondent in Kyiv, Astrid Gagopian, was there when the strikes headed towards the Ukrainian capital. This morning around 6 a.m. we woke up to the sound of sirens and air raid alarms and we started hearing the first explosions around 8.30, uh, uh, after which we learned that three people had been wounded, including a 13-year-old uh, teenager who is now at the hospital. According to uh, Vitaly Klitschko, the mayor of the capital, 16 Russian missiles were targeting just Kyiv, the capital, and they were all shot down by the Ukrainian air defense system. And these attacks uh, have uh, once again taken a toll on the country's electricity provision uh, infrastructure. Absolutely. Uh, currently in Kyiv, about 40 percent of the population have no electricity following the strikes of this morning. In the city of Vliv, in the west of the country, it's actually 90 percent of the city that is now without electricity, according to uh, the mayor. According to the Minister of Energy, the Ukrainian uh, ministry, well, as long as much as uh, they would like to say that uh, there will be some light for uh, New Year's Eve, it's impossible. And we should actually expect some more Russian strikes and some more power outages. And during a visit to Kyiv on Wednesday, France's defense minister Sébastien Lecornu affirmed France was, quote, eager to work towards responding to Ukraine's military needs. He spoke with his uh, Ukrainian counterpart about delivering more weapons for the war effort, including Caesar cannons. He also added that Presidents Zelensky and Macron had asked them to establish new proposals for the month of January. And he also defended Macron against accusations of being too soft on Russia. I see that certain people sometimes have an interest in or like to interpret the French president's words incorrectly. Look at the amount of energy he's given to this since the start of the war. He is one of the rare Western leaders to go to Moscow and to Kyiv to find a solution. And after calls by Washington,